Alright, I just want to do a, I won't say a really full review, but many people, including myself, had the uh, little, well I'm just going to call it wax, and I know that's not the right pronunciation, but yeah, Wushan, Ocean, whatever it's supposed to be, but Watson, little two meter dual band radios, great little radio. Um, I know talking on it. Um, now I've bought an antenna adapter and got an extended antenna for this one. That's my point. Anyway, I'm not. Um, but I had many friends that I was telling, you know, get the little two meter radio and you can uh, scan the police frequencies, uh, find out what's going on in the area in case there's some kind of emergency disaster or something like that. And they're about 110 bucks plus shipping. It can vary. Uh, I actually got just bought this actual. Well, this one. No, I bought an extra one. Uh, it was 114 bucks. But in the meantime, while I was thinking about getting a backup, um, like I said, I had a few friends that were wanting one, but they didn't really have the money to. Um, to commit, you know, 110, 120 bucks, it's eh, you know, and, I, and as I was looking at radios and stuff, uh, I kept seeing this little radio, this little Bofong, is it, is it coming out? Yeah, I, I don't know how they pronounce it, uh, B-A-O-F-E-N-G, and this particular model is a UV-5RA. So I suggested it to my buddy, and I sent him a link, and he bought it because it was fifty bucks shipping and handling everything. You know, the radio shipping and handling and all was fifty bucks. The radio was like thirty nine ninety five, and the shipping was like nine dollars and ninety cents. So for fifty bucks, he got this little radio, and um, so I've been playing around with it. I programmed it for him. The uh, if you know somebody that has a washing, waxing radio, whatever, the uh, programming cable is the same. So I was able to use my programming cable, and I downloaded the software for free. You can get it on the internet. There's actually two different programs for this, but I actually used the factory programming, and I also found a unlock program so I could open up the band that you can listen to and what have you. So I was able to open the radio up, Put all the frequencies in it, added some that, that I currently have, you know, some stuff, and um, was able to name his, uh, Seven, you know, Simpsonville, Simpsonville repeater. I mean, all the stuff. And, uh, and pretty much this thing does everything this radio does. Now, I do think the Watson is a little bit better, a little heavier duty, maybe. Uh, I like the uh, channel button here or a uh, roll switch. It makes it a lot com more convenient uh, scrolling through the channels and stuff. Uh, with this one, you have to seven, sit seven, there and hit the five, up down five, seven, uh, button. Uh, but overall, I mean, even the button locations are pretty much the same. And um, I called in on the net, did the uh, nightly call in on it uh, a couple of nights ago, and uh, even ch chatted with a couple of people afterwards, just sitting in the house using this like I normally do with that one. Works great. Um, you do need to use a computer program and a, and a download cable to really program it and get it to do what it needs to do. Um, the manually going through it really you cannot you you can't even put names for the channels in there you got to have the pc program which is free so you have to get the uh, programming cable or if you know somebody that's got one a programming cab cable for the walks but for 50 bucks it's a great little radio it does everything you need it to do uh, especially if you're just buying the radio to uh, listen and keep up with what's going on and but even if you're going to talk on it so far i've been talking on it it's a good little radio so just throwing it out there uh, if, if you've been thinking about getting a little radio and you're on a real tight budget this little radio here for 50 bucks give it a shot that's not bad that's not bad at all 
So, just thought I'd throw that out there. Uh, for any of you that want a backup radio, uh, I wish I'd have bought one instead of another one of these for a backup. I could have saved myself like 60 bucks. So, good backup or good primary, either one. But, uh, good little radio. Just thought I'd uh, throw that out there for everybody.